Mesh Creation and Management Basics In this video we will show you how to use Undet for AutoCAD to create site mesh from point cloud data. For this video we have already created very simple basic model of our building. It will help us to analyze created mesh and overall situation. First of all open Undet project. Now we will create view section of our area of interest. Since we are interested in site surface, our view section does not have to be throughout whole building, so we will make it smaller for better performance. If you want to know more about how to manage view sections and color point cloud, please watch video Undet for AutoCAD, how to start. This video is attached in video description. We will apply coloring by plane, just so we can see very basic deformation of our surface. As we can see from this coloring we can identify road, cars, trees and so on. Our first step towards creating a mesh will be to adjust recognition parameters. To do it we will click arrow from automatic feature extraction tab in our Undet tool box ribbon menu and we will select base point. It does not really matter where you will pick base point, only thing is that it should be on a flat surface. Not on the car, not on the bush, but somewhere on a flat surface, for example road. After you will specify your base point new window will pop out. Here you will be able to change your recognition parameters. You will be able to select if you want to create mesh from all points or decimated points. Also you will be able to choose step size. It can be adjusted by centimeters, decimeters and meters. This step size should be around 5 to 10 times bigger than your scanned data density. After adjusting your step size your detected base plane should be couple of meters size. Size can also be adjusted by changing recognition speed and curvature tolerance. Let's try to adjust step size so that our plane size will be couple meters. Now it seems like our plane is right size, so now we can move on and start generating mesh. To create new mesh we will click mesh button from meshing tab in Undet toolbox ribbon menu. First you will be asked to enter grid size. Grid size will determine distance between points from which your mesh will be created. We will keep it at 1. Next you will be asked to select base point or define area. If you want you can simply define base point and Undet will create mesh defined by calculations and our plane recognition parameters, but since we want to create mesh of whole site we will define our area by polyline. But right now we do not have any polyline that would define our desired area. So let's cancel this operation and let's create rectangle that will cover our whole site. Now we will start again and we will create new mesh. Let's keep our grid size at 1, and now let's select our rectangle to define our area in which mesh will be created. Final step to create mesh is to select base point. For this you can click anywhere on flat surface. Now we can see that our newly created mesh have over 22,000 faces and you will be asked if you want to reduce percentage of those faces. We will keep 100% of faces, because it can be reduced any time from meshing tab. And here it is we have our mesh created. As you can see, this mesh eliminated cars, trees, and all other objects that are not part of site. This kind of mesh can be used for visualizations, presentations, or just to have basic understanding of site situation. As we can see this mesh have some areas, especially next to planes where automatic mesh generation was not that precise. This can be fixed in two ways. First way to fix it is to use remove spikes function from meshing tab. To do it, we will first hide our building to get better view of our mesh. Now we will select remove spikes function and type CP and we will draw polygon around our building. That polygon should be not too far from our building outline. After outlining whole area simply click enter. Now you see that all selected spikes was removed and surface around building was fixed. 
Let's end our building isolation and see how it looks now. My drawn area was very approximate so if you want better result you should select those spikes more precise. Another way to fix those edges is to adjust grid size while creating mesh. So now we will create new mesh, but this time instead of 1 our grid size will be 0.5. Once again we will define our area of interest by selecting previously drawn rectangle. And we will place our base point anywhere on flat surface. As you can see our new mesh have 4 times more faces than the one we created before. It is because our grid size is smaller. Smaller the grid size, more faces will be created. This time we see that problematic areas next to changing planes are smaller. Since our created mesh have more faces, we can reduce that count by decimating our mesh, to do it simply select decimate mesh function from meshing tab and enter new value. We will enter 0.5 so now our mesh will have 2 times less faces than before. As you can see mesh remains same, we just have less faces and our performance is stable. It depends on your PC parameters but working with more faces will result significant performance drop. Now I will create mesh with 800,000 faces. To reach this amount of faces I will lower my grid size, in this case I will choose 0.15. As you can see areas close to building becomes really smooth and whole mesh looks really sharp. But having mesh with so many faces will result major performance drop, and editing this kind of mesh becomes almost impossible. In our next video we will show you advanced mesh creating and editing functionality. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website. At www.undet.com